her voice. <laughs> so um, if you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. These orders of service for noonday are interchangeable. You don't need to have any one particular day, unlike morning and evening prayer. We don't follow the daily lectionary. It's just a singular rotation through the service of Psalms and short passages of scripture and collects um, that we rotate through on a regular basis. We are now moving with Psalm 20, 121. Next week will be 126, and we're trying to stagger the readings and the collects. They all mix up, um, but sometimes we wind up repeating ourselves, and that's okay. Just know that any of these noonday prayers are good for any noon time throughout the week. It doesn't even have to be Wednesday when you pray the prayers. Laura Bonamici has joined us. Welcome, Laura. Thank you. Always good to be here. And she'll be making the responses. And then sometime in the next couple of weeks, we'll actually have her lead them. So she's never led this office before, but you never know. It's always good to, to bring. I have. You just weren't there. I just wasn't. Oh, was I not there? I'm sorry. There you go. I, I stand corrected. All right. Do you want to take it today? You can. Psalm 121. No, you got it. <laughs> okay, here we you know go. What? I will. There you I'll go. You're on. I'll do it. You have uh, you have the devotion. Yes. Because I'm not prepared for that. You got it. Okay. Ready? Ready. Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Oops, sorry, I have to hit the bell. There we go. There you go. Psalm 121, we'll say this together. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where is my help to come? My help, help comes from, from the Lord, Lord the maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. He, he will not, not let your foot be moved, moved and he, and he who, who watches over you will not, not fall asleep. asleep. Behold, Behold, he who, he keeps, who keeps watch over Israel, Israel shall, shall neither, neither slumber nor sleep. sleep. The Lord but himself himself watches, watches over, over you. you. The Lord, the Lord is, is your shade at your right, right hand. hand, so that the, so sun, that the sun shall not strike, strike you by, by day. Nor the, the moon by night. by night. The Lord, the Lord shall, shall preserve, preserve you from all, all evil. evil. It, it is he who shall keep, keep you safe. safe. The Lord, the Lord shall watch over your going, going out and, and your coming, coming in from this, from this time, time forth, forth forever. forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Either one of those two. <laughs> I know. Okay. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. We've been talking a lot about uh, recon reconciliation and reparations over the past week in light of the George Floyd uh, anniversary of his death. And um, I was trying to think of something that might catch us and uh, how we're each called in our own way to this journey of reconciliation. Um, I came across this reading in the ordinal from the Book of Common Prayer in 1928. This is a previous edition of the uh, Book of Common Prayer that we, uh, I was actually born and baptized with, but we don't use today. And this is the epistle reading from the ordination of priests, or actually in those days of the ordering of priests. It's from Ephesians. Unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity, captivity captive, and gave gifts unto people. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some 
apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect human being, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. And I offer that to you because I think sometimes we get caught so much in the concerns of the world, we forget why we do the things that we do in the name of Christ to seek justice and to become more fully in the stature of Christ, to be agents of that justice in the world. So as we seek reconciliation over issues of race, of gender, of class, of immigration status, of whatever sort of othering we engage in as we seek unity in Christ, we do that for the sake of Christ, that we might be more fully formed in the full stature. And may that be our truth, and may that be our hope, and may that be our reality. Thank you. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be your name. name. Your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will be done, be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today, today our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Forgive us our, our sins, sins as we forgive, forgive those who sin against, against us. us. Save us from, from the time, time of trial, trial and, and deliver us from, from evil. Pain. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant called your servant, St. Paul, to be an apostle to the Gentiles. We pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. Give thanks for Gail, who received good news from her oncologist. Pray for Jesse and his parents. Pray for all who seek and strive for justice and peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well. Thank you for joining us for Noonday Prayer. Thank you, Father, for inviting me to uh, pray with you and the opportunity to leave the service. It is, uh, it is a great way to spend the Noonday Hour. And uh, we will take a short break and be back together at 5 o'clock for evening prayer and then our community supper this evening and back tomorrow morning for morning prayer at 9 a.m. So have a good after afternoon, everybody, and we will see you again shortly. Bye-bye. Take care and God bless.